Hey guys, uh, so today uh, we're gonna continue the tutorial. So uh, what we're gonna do today is to plug finally the Facebook login in the mobile and uh, like showing what the token gonna do. And uh, but the first thing we're gonna do is update exponent. So exponent came to version 16. Why I want you to do the the new update is because we're gonna use the new flat list. In some other episode so uh, it's really easy to update like I always with exponent so the first thing um, we need to do is to change inside the JSON the SDK version to be 16 so we go to app JSON we change it to 16 perfect after that we copy paste this react native uh, version and we change it inside the package JSON so we're gonna change this one we're gonna take this one after that, change exponent to be version 16 with the caret at the top. 16, so I'm gonna do this like that. So that change react to be 16, point, uh, uh, 16 alpha. So this is where we get like some react fiber stuff. So the new version of react. And this is perfect. After that, because we're gonna break something in React Navigation, we need to change this one to be version eight. Now, what we need to do, it's inside the terminal, we're gonna do rm, rf, node module, so we're gonna delete the node module, and we're gonna delete your unlock. Perfect. So now, we're gonna run yarn. Another thing too, you should do, I don't gonna need to do right now, so I'm gonna do yarn, but for you, uh, you should, uh, yarn global so update globally your um, exp to be version 40 so uh, for me I have already done so now we're gonna wait a lot of time because now react it's, it's a big change on react so now what we can do is create the uh, application inside the fa Facebook for developer so the first thing we need to do is go to my app add a new app So that here, display uh, name. So we're gonna call it Meetup Me, like that. I'm gonna choose Entertainment, and I'm gonna create, click Create App ID. After that, I need to type this thing. So, uh, oh, this is that. Yeah. So now we're gonna wait. They're gonna create a new app ID. Perfect. Here at the top, we see the app ID. Click here to copy it. So, and go inside your custom here. Create a new file called FB config. Here we're gonna do export default. So I'm gonna close this thing here. So I'm gonna do export default. So something happened with my Visual Studio. Okay, like that. After that, so we have the app ID, we're gonna need that. After this, now if we go to expo.io in the documentation, if you go to the Facebook right there, they show you what you need to do. And the thing they ask you to do, it's inside the uh, setting here, you click add platform, you click iOS first, and you paste the, this thing inside bundle ID. After that, you Take this right there. So this is the key hash for Android. So add platform, Android. You add this key hash right there. So that you do save change. Perfect. After that, we're gonna go to app review. And here, we're gonna toggle make me, uh, make me, me public, yeah. So that's gonna let people to log in with your app uh, live. So like, I don't know, like if you use your cell phone and don't just use the simulator, that's gonna be a good thing here to make it live or in development. Perfect, here I forget to do one thing. It's, uh, yeah, not for now. So here what we're gonna do, it's I'm gonna rerun X start. So 
we get some good change like the flat list gonna remove the list view and a lot of stuff gonna change so this video my plan so if I show you the readme I right update exponent yes perfect create Facebook app update the global so we do and now we're gonna make the logging success and change some design in the sign up now my plan is to start to make more video each week like maybe three about the meetup and one about like everything else in programming so you're gonna start to get much more video if you subscribe so we're gonna just wait again that always take time because you need to compile Yeah, so here we wait. Always the first compile, always when you run the start, take time, but after that, we're good to go. We get the reload and, but now here it's because we just like change all the exponent stuff and change the SDK, so. like it's working perfect here I'm gonna run X iOS to open it in iOS project looks good here if you uh, for me because I did it but here you're gonna get like some kind of uh, your uh, application in your simulator is up to date or so you need to delete it first and after that you rerun iOS Because you're gonna uh, see another change I'm gonna show you uh, exponent uh, not exponent sorry expo I've changed stuff with the um, I've changed some stuff so first thing here so this is the JavaScript bundle so now we can see the percentage of what is done after that here you're gonna see they have add their own uh, like reload stuff and reload page So this video is going to be more about this, about I want the mobile at least to get the Facebook token, that's it. Next video, we're going to finish the backend for the Google and the front end for Google. And after that, we're going to push together on the server. So the authentication part is going to be done. So that we're going to jump on like fetching stuff. Yeah, so here we break some stuff here. So now what we need to do first, it's here flex container. We're going to add here alling self to be stretch so we're gonna make it uh, stretch to make the flex container to take full width perfect so that's it here what exponent add is if you click command D now in the uh, Mac that open this thing here so now this is the new uh, expo um, interface so here you can refresh uh, disable live reload demode remote etc so now we are good with that. So now what I want to do. So here we're gonna change it for now, sign in, sign up uh, for the Google login, Google logout, uh, Google login and Facebook login, just to make life easier for now. And at the end, this is a tutorial and not a full application. It's a full application, but this is a tutorial. So here I'm gonna export from my icon. So expo vector icon. So for the one who don't know, uh, Expo have the vector icon already set up inside, so I think it's almost like um, at least a good number, more than a good number. So here you can like search for uh, logo and see which one you want to use. Perfect. So here, what I'm gonna import it's material community icon. I'm gonna take this one and now inside my button. So uh, the first one gonna be Google. So here I'm gonna say. Material icon name gonna be equal to Google. 
size to be equal to 30 and color to be equal to white so like that and I'm gonna do the same for Facebook face Facebook now that don't gonna look like what we want so a first thing inside the button right there we're gonna change it to be flex direction to be row so we want inside row and not anymore in colon yeah I mean uh, it's the inverse yeah so row make it uh, like that after that here I'm gonna change it to be space around so we're gonna uh, each thing gonna pay it take its space like that after that I'm gonna change the text for uh, connect with the same right there connect with After that, the text is too big and I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is if you click Command P font, I'm going to change this text to be 14 now. So this is button. Oh, is this one? Yeah, perfect. And now what I'm going to add, it's here inside the button. I'm going to add padding horizontal to be equal to 10. So we're going to shrink from the left to the right. So the space around going to be less big. Yeah, perfect. So now we have this thing but we want to get the color of Google and the color of Facebook so I make my search so here we're gonna change the color here to be the blue of Facebook so the blue of Facebook it's uh, 3B5998 and the blue and uh, not the blue but the red of Google it's DB3236 Perfect. Connect with Google, connect with Facebook. Perfect. After that here, what are we going to do? So we have at the top here, we're going to import Facebook from Expo. And yes, that's why I love Exponent. Expo, sorry. So easy to get your code running, like uh, authentication running, and they have all really take care of this thing. After that here, I'm going to create a function called on logging press. I'm gonna be an arrow function here you're gonna take a name so here I'm gonna say if name equal Facebook I'm gonna call another function I'm gonna create logging logging with Facebook so this is a function I'm gonna create else so that's gonna be the same but with Google this one we're gonna make it in the next episode so that I'm going to create the logging with Facebook. This one going to be a nascent call. And this one, what going to do? We're going to destructuring type and token coming from the await. And now this is where and uh, Expo do the, the job. They create the await view for us. So that's going to be a log in with read permission async right there so did I make a mistake I don't think so so now logging with permission async now here take two arguments the first one gonna be your app ID so what I'm gonna do here it's I'm gonna shift command D because the thing is in constant so I'm gonna do Facebook config I'm gonna copy paste this one Facebook config so I'm gonna say Facebook config app ID so that curly bracket here we're gonna say what we ask so permission we're gonna ask for public profile and finally email so here you see with prettier so this is a new thing uh, the, um, I've installed in my Visual Studio that just like when I save put all my code looks better and uh, I'm gonna make a video today about my snippet, my everything I do, like uh, like how I the snippet I've created for doing thing like that, and uh, like uh, how you can do some stuff with Visual Studio. So maybe if you like what I've just done here, something you sh you should watch here. I'm gonna say if so we get the type here in the token. So if type equal success in quote in st a string. Here what I'm gonna do 
It's for now I'm gonna say cons rest for response equal await fetch. So this is the fetch we're gonna do in the back end. But now because I want to show you what we got for understand what we do, we're gonna see so graph that Facebook dot com me access token equal to the token with this structuring right there. So here we have the async like that. After that, here what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna go at the top, I'm gonna import alert. So just for showing you what we can get, get. so alert, it's coming already with React Native. I'm gonna say alert, that alert, and I'm gonna say log in, and I'm gonna say I, oops, like that, and I'm gonna say await resp that JSON and here the name. That's it. Like this. So if everything is working now, if I click on connect with Facebook. Something wrong happening, so I make surely a mistake right there. So we import Facebook from Expo, and here, so it's uh, log. Oh, so we can just come here and get the login with permission. So, and oh, I know why I didn't connect. So, here finally, what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna say on press. So this one is the Google one. So there's that um, on the Ging Press. I'm gonna put the name as Google. I'm gonna copy this line. I'm gonna paste it right there and I'm gonna see this one with Facebook. So now if I click. Perfect, so now log into your Facebook account to connect to meet.me. So now here I'm gonna type my uh, email. This is an email app. Yeah. So now if I uh, log, uh, me, not move, me will receive your public profile and email address. Continue as so my name. And if everything is working, I, Emmanuel Quimper. So this is my name. I got cause of the response right there. Because name, remember, name in Facebook. It's the full name. Perfect. So that's going to be this for this one. Next episode, I'm going to jump on the Google part. In the front end, we're going to finish in the back end. And after that, another episode going to left for authentication. And that's going to be to connect with uh, your back end. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you like it. Like I said, I'm going to start to make more video. I want to make at least two to three about the meetup story out and one about like something I found in the React world, JavaScript world and all this kind of stuff. And uh, please like if you like the video and uh, just hit the comments if you want to get some response and uh, have a good day. Bye.